Are you in the need of a nitrous burst? Well, in the current prime big deal day 24, we'll find some mini PCs that won't break the bank. Welcome to Team Pandora. Subscribble. <laughs> we'll first start off with the smaller knickknacks. Silk and Power have some 512 micro SDs, and they'll suit an emulation handheld perfectly. But if you're burning images and want to make sure that they fit, you can't go wrong with a sand disk. And they're currently 18% off. However, if you need NVMe storage for your computer, we recommend this 2TB PCIe 3B4 from HP. It'll be reliable, has a 5 year warranty, and it's pretty fast to boot. If you're looking for a fast display for gaming, there's this Acer Nitro. It's a 1080p monitor, 180Hz, and increases almost an inch in size for an extra $8. We find that 24 inches is a sweet spot, but if you're on the market for an ultra wide display, this one at $128 is not bad at all. Resolution's ultra wide 1440p. The wide aspect ratio increases immersion while gaming, and it can also help out if you're either into music or video production. So let's get into the meat and potatoes. Budget mini PCs. First up is the GMK Tech KB5. After the coupons, it comes to $105, and it's an ultra tiny PC that uses the Intel N5105. While not a gaming powerhouse, it can hold its own against the Intel budget CPUs, and like its siblings, it's a very nice family PC. And very much like the last Amazon sale, the next step up is the N100 processor. We've covered this chip many times on our channel, and it can make a great emulation box running up to upscale PlayStation 2. With that said, we've also found a similar spec PC at exactly the same price from TrickKey. It's got double the memory and double the storage, and we're pretty certain that these guys are the same as B-Link, just under a different name. This page has multiple SKUs, but the only two we'd consider are those at $127 and $119 price points. Windows experience is pretty much identical, but in emulation and games, the N100 has the edge. But what if you wanted to pay slightly more? Well, at $159, we have the G5. This one uses the same tiny case as earlier, but this time with a much faster N97 CPU. And with 12 gigabytes of faster DDR5 memory, it can play much more without tripping up so bad. Next up is the B-Link 6. With the Ryzen 5 6600H CPU, this little mini PC is a steal at $249 with the coupon code. Oh, and it can play some decent games, like this new version of Metal Slug. Like many PCs from B-Link, this has a power supply built in, so it's tidier, but more difficult to repair if it breaks. If those coupons run out though, another mini PC in the same bracket is the M5 Plus. Currently at $262 with coupons, it has double the storage and double the memory even though it is DDR4 and it uses dual fan case, so the insides will be nice and cool and the performance is similar to that of the 5700U, just a little quicker. But for gaming, we recommend mini PCs from the next tier up. So this one is the B-Link 6, did we just have that one? I guess not, because at $379 we got the 6900HX version, 24GB RAM and 1TB storage. This and the upper tier Ryzen 6000 series uses the 680M GPU which can play the majority of games well and emulates up to around PlayStation 3. But if you need Oculink to future-proof your purchase, the M7 is going for $295. If we compare memory and CPU to the last, this is a step down, but if we look at the M7 Pro, an absolute steal at $299. One of the best deals of the day, and it plays games pretty well. First mini PC in the upper tier is the Gem 10. Now these specs, at this price, is insane, and it's not even on sale. The Radeon 780M on board is almost as good as a G4 1650, so it can definitely play many games. And with three NVMe slots, Oculink, USB 4, HDMI 2.1, it's a no-brainer. But if you need a slightly faster chip and more AI cores, the K8 is at $478. Do you fancy taking a chance? Well, take a look at these. Remember the Super Console X Lite PC thing I did, like, years ago? Well, the GK3 is back. At $119 with the coupons, it's got the N97 on board. And as it uses the legendary case, it has the 2.5 inch SATA drive bay. I smell Kin Hank. Or it might be this cat. 
So here's another N97 bargain, and this time with double the memory and double the storage. With a 4.3 rating it might be good, but we definitely have our doubts with the storage medium. If it's low quality, it's easy to corrupt, but it might be amazing. Next up is the Firebat 7735HS. This mini PC has the potential to stand in the mid-tier bracket, and at $279 it might be worth giving it a punt. Don't know if it's ugly or... pretty? Maybe 3D printed... maybe. And then there's this white thing. It's another mini PC from Firebat with an 8845HS. This one has the potential to stand in with the upper tier, and at $419 it might be worth trying. And then we have a mini PC that's by a fruit manufacturer. Apparently these are better than the upper tier Ryzen, but we definitely have our doubts. Anyway, if you want to help support the channel we've got links down below, and apparently YouTube says you might like these videos. Um, yeah, check them out if you've got some time. Ta-ra!